being able to quickly move your artboard around as you're working on pieces is going to be one of those skills that you're gonna to wanna to pick up. Today, I'm gonna to show you how. Welcome back designers, my name is Mike Pickett. I am a graphic designer and vector artist. I keep saying web designer and some of these I know it's old habits die hard, what can I say? I was a web and graphic designer for just about 10 years with my own company. I've now made the transition over to still doing graphic design, but now I focus a lot more on vector art. You can find a lot of my work over my Instagram account. I also have t-shirts and stuff available on Cotton Bureau and Redbubble. You'll find all the links down in the description. So the hand tool is one of those things, it's almost like breathing for me now. I just don't even notice that I'm using it. it I almost didn't put it into this series, but I think it's an important tool. It can help speed up your workflow. So I keep my thumb over my space bar probably about 90% of the time that I'm working in Illustrator, because that way I can make quick moves around the artboard and get to the different places I need to be in order to make revisions or make changes or add pieces that I need to do. So let's hop over into Illustrator. I'll show you exactly how the hand tool works. This is gonna be a quick one. So here we are in Illustrator once again. Now I'm starting this one with my artwork okay, way off center and it's kind of tucked down away. And there's a reason for that. One of the most simple things you can do with the hand tool is zero your artboard out on the screen. So you can center it top to bottom. And we do that just by double clicking on it. You can find the hand tool right at the very bottom of your toolbar. If you don't see this, make sure you go down to edit toolbar. You'll find the navigate tools at the very bottom of all the tools. And you can just go ahead and drag the hand tool over. So if I double click on the hand tool, it zeroes out my artboard and I'm completely centered now, 100% zoom in. So to access the hand tool, we're gonna to go ahead and we're gonna hit H on our keyboard, or we can just click on the icon down here in the bottom. So when I'm using Illustrator, I've actually, I've usually got one hand on my keyboard and another hand over on my mouse, depending on what I'm doing. But the reason for that is because that way I keep my selection tool or one of the other tools that I'm working on, it doesn't matter. So if I've got my pen tool, I can hold down the space bar and that gives you my hand tool. If I've got my selection tool, hold down the space bar, that gives me my hand tool. It, it's just a natural for me. I keep one hand there so that I can always hold my thumb down, get that hand tool and drag my artboard to wherever I need it. All right, so like I said, it was gonna be a quick one. It's a simple tool to use. I know that there's other ways that you can go about zooming in on your artboard, just command zero or control zero, but double clicking on that hand tool brings you right back into focus. You've got everything available to you. Get used to having your thumb over that space bar and ready to move your artboard wherever you need to. It's just gonna become second nature for you as well. All right, designers, that's it for this one. So. The series, we're almost done. I think we have uh, about 11 more videos, maybe 10 more videos to go, and we'll be through this one. I hope you stick around. Coming up in the new year, I've got some great content coming, including uh, projects from start to finish. We're gonna go in, we're gonna look at like business card design, we're gonna look at brochures, flyers, everyday use stuff that you're going to be asked to design by your clients. This isn't just a logo channel or an illustrator channel we're gonna start using some other tools as well. I wanted to start off with this because it's kind of one of those things I don't see a lot of out there, where a lot of people kind of go through this series and never talk about it again. I wanted to be able to reference back to this series as we're working through other projects in the future. Down the road, I'm gonna do more like this inside of InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, and some other tools that we're gonna use as well. All right, I need to get back to work. I need to record my podcast. I'm hoping to get it done tonight so I can get it out late tomorrow night. If not, I'll get it recorded tomorrow, but stick around for that as well. It's gonna be a good one. I think the lighting's getting a lot better. So this is, we're making progress, right? Audio, eh, I'm still working on that. I'll get there. Rome was not built in a day. Neither was this channel. <laughs> okay, bye.